shooting this 120 centimeters from about there to the box. Two, one. That was a good one. I had a quick calc on that one. Um, the Dow, I could see it move at about one metre um, in one frame. Super quick. So 3.6, all of this I kind of just worked out. Once I worked out the units, I worked out that I could just do 3.6 divided by however many frames it took. And that'll give me kilometres per hour. Eight. <laughs> 8.64 kilometers an hour. Fuck, I knew it was quick. That's, that's like nearly the sound barrier. I wonder if we can break the sound barrier in one of these. I wonder how many PSI I would need to punch it at that. Holy shit. <laughs> cool. Alrighty, we're shooting these little 7 mil bullets. I've printed through this pipe that has a 7mm inner diameter. And here's the targets. Let's flick it over to slow mode. Three, going for green. Three, two, one. Holy shit. That thing is violent. So the first one was super snug, and I think that's why it went sort of extra powerful because it was really getting forced through with no no losses. And it would be, I think, the bottom one there. Pretty sure it went through. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Now that was pretty accurate. I wasn't really aiming, I was just leaning on the camera and checking that your view from the camera was sort of pointing down the line. And that was one and two. Pretty good. Bought a few parts today. <laughs> a couple hundred bucks at the electronics store. Or $170 or something. Just for that. Not even with them. Just everything else. And then bought these from Bunnings and a couple pipes. And uh, these will be turning to so the stepper motors can control. Pretty much a turret. <laughs> We're gonna turret. There's um, a bunch of bullets I've been testing. This is a big one, too big. Um, then tried little tiny ones, and pretty effective. Pretty effective, but uh, I think that would be really hard to reload something like this. Whereas if you had them a bit longer, you can stack them and then gravity feed them. So yeah. These, these are the ones I just shot the balloons with, the water bomb balloons. And it was, um, yeah, scary, actually, how damn good it was. I'll do, um, <laughs> do like a pipe shoot, or a, I don't know what you call it. Yeah, so pretty. That's not even like a snug fit on this. This is like that's a seven mil bullet, and it looks like the holes. I think eight mil. So I'll make the bullets eight mil, and um, that'll go even harder than that. And that was scary. That was just me blowing on it. Imagine shooting a hundred psi through this thing. Probably way more than I need. The snugger the better, I guess. Just snug. Got a little hole in the end of it to get that um a dynamic shape factor up or whatever it is I think that's it maybe it's not CD or CF 
pull up. Um, aerodynamic shape. Back there. Mm, yeah, no, I'm thinking of um, AS 1170.2, I think. Is that the wind code? Instruction engineering. Oh, yeah, this thing, drag coefficient. Pretty sure. Mm. I think that's it. Aer aerodynamic shape factor. Let's have a look and put in my cup. Cup. Um. Mm. I don't think that's it. This is the closest thing I'd think to it being it, but I don't think that's it. I remember seeing it in a textbook back in engineering. Probably looks more like this one. Yeah, I think a cup. CD, that's the one. Drag coefficients. Yeah. Anyhow, so you can see the CD on something like this. I'm not sure what the difference between these two are. But you can see the coefficient goes up drastically. Oh, look at that. It goes up really well with a, a triangle. Isn't that interesting? I don't know, a dome here. I'm not really sure what I'm looking at there, but you get the idea. Yeah, very cool. Anyway, that's it. That was the, well, pretty good test that that thing's going to work. So I'm going to probably make an order. Oh, turn this printer off. Probably make an order for like an, I don't even think I'm going to use air. I might just use a pneumatic solenoid, which is still using air, but instead of driving the bullet with just air, I'll just drive it with a, pneumatic solenoid and the one I'm looking at um, did the math on it uh, 75 millimeter stroke with a 25 millimeter bore um, which means it'll output 500 newtons of force so that'd be like slapping the shit out of one of these bullets with 50 kilograms. It's all localized right on the back. 50 kilograms. I'm pretty sure that'll fucking fly. Yeah. Because if I do, if I do just air, I've got to work out how to reload that thing in the, the cartridge that's going to be reloading it. It would have losses. In, there'd be losses in having an opening to, if you can imagine that, those tubes and they have to have an opening with a cartridge to feed the bullets in as they go through. And that creates an opening, which means there's a loss of air pressure, which means those bullets aren't going to go nearly as fast. Like drastically drop in speed when they need to start becoming like a, unless I can close the cartridge so that inside the cartridge even becomes pressurized. That would be a better idea. That means I don't have to buy a bloody pneumatic solenoid. I just gotta come up with some sort of way to like fix the cartridge into the pipe and then I'm gonna make sure it's like sealed, really well sealed. So maybe some sort of like clip clipping thing. Which I could definitely come up with some sort of model with the 3D printer to get enough um get enough of a seal on that, I think, to, uh, yeah, so that's such a good idea. Glad I'm doing these videos, it's making me think. Yeah, so we'll do that. And then we're gonna have this thing running off a Raspberry Pi. Try to order a camera. Not gonna say what I'm making just yet, but pretty much told you all the components to it, so. <laughs> Who could guess? Um, anyhow, guns aren't cool. I don't like guns, no one likes guns. Alright, peace.
think that might do for today. I'm pretty much just going to spend the rest of the day ordering parts, I think, and then maybe just start dabbling with these electronics. See if we can get some things turning. Modeling and electronics.